Hello everyone! Thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I normally talk about movies, comic books, video games, things I'm passionate about. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content and if you like what you see, do subscribe. Today we're actually going to do a movie review. The movie is called The Reconciler. I just recently saw this movie. It's a small independent movie and I really want to spread the word about it, okay? And like I said, it's an independent film. It's not big budget, high production values. It's not like a huge Hollywood blockbuster with box office coming in for overseas and stuff like that. This is a small film, okay? More of a straight to DVD. It doesn't have like a huge theatrical release or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but here in Kansas, uh, the first uh, viewers, I probably like the very first viewers here in the state, and uh, it wasn't heavily advertised or anything like that. And you're probably wondering like, how did I learn about this movie? One of the YouTube channels I'm subscribed to, he's actually in this movie. Not only that, he actually wrote the movie too. So if you, if you don't know who I'm talking about, 78 Great Scott, he's known as The Great Scott on YouTube. Uh, he's, he's, he's a, he reviews movies, reviews TV shows. He's an entertainer, musician cosplayer. Uh, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put the link to his uh, channel in the description, okay? He wrote this movie. So this is a this is not a huge YouTuber, by the way. He's, you know, not a lot of subscribers, not a lot, like thousands of views and tons of his, uh, on his videos, but he was it's, uh, successful in one way is that he actually wrote and actually starred in this movie, you know, in, in a way, okay? Uh, there's multiple storylines, multiple stars in this movie. You may notice that's right, I don't know if you see his face, that's Roddy Roddy Piper, that's pro, pro wrestler, you know, actor, you know, um, God rest his soul, he recently passed away, but this is his final movie, if you want to support him, you know, you probably know him from WWF, WWE, you know, uh, professional wrestling, he's actually in this movie for a little bit, more than a cameo, but not like the starring role, so I, I want to keep, keep, uh, keep that in mind, he's not like the star of the movie, but he is in the movie, you want to see him in his final movie role, okay? The movie was actually really, really good. I really enjoyed it. You can only find this at, um, I, I, I've seen that family video, okay, the rental store family video. Um, I also saw it at Walmart. It was at Walmart. I, I bought it at Walmart for like 10 bucks, okay, here here in Kansas. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe you can find it at a, at a Christian bookstore or something like that. I don't know. I haven't actually been there, but I've seen that family video and I've seen it at Walmart, okay? Th those are the two places that you can probably pick this up. You can also want to buy it from Great Scott's, um, uh, website also. I'll put the link to that in the description, okay? Uh, the movie. <clears throat> when I watched the movie, the first thing I thought about was Saw. <laughs> Saw, the, the horror movie, the reverse bear trap and all that stuff. It, it kind of reminded me of that because the, 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 the situation in this, uh, in this movie, okay? The premise of the movie, there's multiple storylines, okay? And all these people were like uh, trapped. They were abducted for some reason, okay? And they were like put in a certain situation where uh, and they talked about the Reconciler. The Reconciler is like Jigsaw in the Saw movies, okay? So they're trapped in this room or whatever, and they gotta, like... In order to get out, they have to, like, uh, play the game of the Reconciler, pretty much, alright? So the game was that they have to apologize to it, each other. They gotta, they gotta fix the problem that is between them at the moment. So there was, like, two brothers who were, like, estranged from each other recently, who were, like, locked in the warehouse. There was, like, a, a, a two... There was a couple that was locked in a car. There was, like, a father and son who was, like, um, trapped up in, up in the mountains or something like that. In order to get out of the situation, they have to actually, like, you know, fix... Uh, make up the time with each other or whatever, you know, they were, they were fighting, arguing, whatever, and um, it, it was all, the movie is about forgiveness, okay? FYI, for those of you who are like, David, is there any blood or gore and is there action, is there fighting robots in this movie and stuff like that? There isn't, okay? It's actually <clears throat> right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, it is a faith friendly film, okay? A movie for all ages. It's a feel-good movie, all right? It's a movie that, that, that you want to watch with your family, watch with your kids, you know, have some friends over and watch together, you know? <clears throat> this is a movie that's, uh, um, well, you can see on the box right here, it's very, uh, when your only hope is God, 
redemption, forgiveness, connection with God. Okay, it's a it's a faith friendly movie. It's very about it's more about forgiveness, spirituality. Now they don't throw it in your face though, especially this movie. They doesn't like like the message you take away is forgiveness. It's not all about. You gotta read the Bible, or you know, follow Jesus, or whatever. Go to church right now, or anything like that. No, that, that's not the message of this movie. The message of the movie is, um, you know, forgiveness. It's, it's a spiritual movie. It's it's a faith movie. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. Okay, you're not gonna see any fighting robots or giant mutants fighting each other in this movie, which is the usual stuff I I, I review on this YouTube channel. But I watched this movie and I freaking loved it. Okay, seventy eight great Scott was great in it. I really enjoyed his his work in it. Okay, but uh, F Y I, don't expect you know the best of the best. This is isn't some huge Hollywood big big budget production. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. So inside we got the DVD, Reconciler, all right? Black Wolf Media Groups. So the great Scott actually teamed up with a man called, uh, with, a, with a, a filmmaker called named Sean Justice. Now Sean Justice re just recently released another movie. Uh, great Scott isn't in it, I believe. Um, but it's called Out of the Darkness. So here's a... Um, a cover. It looks like the uh, the main lady here, Shelley Morris, is out also in this movie. Also, so this movie is now available. It just released like this week. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, make this video and promote the promote the, another Sean Justice film really quick. Is that into the out of the darkness um, has just been released. Okay, destiny isn't a matter of chance. It's a choice. So it looks like it's uh, involving some soldiers. Maybe after this video, I'll probably go start go by my uh, Walmart and see if I can. See if it's there, you know, and pick it up. Okay. So we got some uh, some screenshots right here. These in the movie, like these are there's Roddy Roddy Pipe right there. There's the Steel Brothers, who I actually follow on Vine, by the way. If you don't know, the Steel Brothers actually have their own YouTube channel, their own Facebook page, and they also have a Vine. I actually follow their Vine. Okay. And um, let's see. If you want to pause and read all these uh, words right here, there it is. Um, Roddy Piper's picture on the side right here. I'm actually not very happy with the front cover, okay? I wish that all the characters imagine it, because there's so much, like, from the beginning of the movie, you think, okay, the Steel Brothers and, um, and the, the, the dude that was in there with them, you know, who, who was actually played by Great Scott, uh, would be that, like, the stars in the movie, I, I imagine they would at least be on the front cover or something like that, you know? But no, it's actually kind of disappointing. I don't think Great, Great Scott's it's not even on here. <laughs> There's no picture of him at all. Um, uh, but he is there. Look, okay. Scott Gabriel, that, that's his name. He actually wrote the movie with Sean Justice. Okay. And actually starred in it also. So, yeah. Jordan Steele and Jeremy Steele. Th those are the Steele brothers right there. All right. Uh, the movie is about 86 minutes long. It's about an hour and a half, okay? So, uh, if you have, like, an extra 10 bucks and you're, like, wondering what to do with it, I say pick up this movie, check it out, all right? You can also buy the movie online. You probably have to pay for shipping or something like that, too, but I enjoyed this movie. Okay, I want to spread the word about it. If you guys have seen it, go ahead and, and tell me what, what, what you guys think about, think about it, okay? Comment below. Let me know what, what you think about the movie. Tell me your thoughts, okay? And follow Great Scott's YouTube channel. He's got some upcoming events and stuff like that. He actually is a magician. He goes on birthdays. He dresses up like Batman, and and uh, he has a couple buddies who uh, help him out with all, all these events. You know, he, he's a he's a he's an entertainer for the masses, for for, for the children, okay? And uh, go out check out his channel. He's got reviews on different movies, different TV shows. Uh, that's how I learned about him. I actually watched some of his videos reviewing like Toy Story and Men in Black and. It was fun, okay? So, check out his channel. Check out this movie. I, I highly recommend it, okay? And thank you for watching. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.